All right, well, I want to thank all of you. This is so astounding to be part of the first ever democracy forum. And I first want to uh, say that for me, this is the driving issue. Uh, I have committed that HR1 will be the first bill uh, that I get through as President of the United States. Um, and that is because I believe that all of these issues we're talking about on the debate stage, whether it be health care, whether it be climate change, whether it be immigration reform, that we are not going to be able to get this done if outside money is flooding our system. Uh, for me, this is personal. You've heard my story. I don't come from a lot of money. Every race that I've won, um, I have won it with still having less money. When I did my initial races for both of my big jobs, I was running against someone with a lot more money than I had. And you've also probably heard my story that I finally at one point running for US Senate I uh, gave up trying to call people because no one could pronounce my name. And I called everyone I knew in my life and raised, set a second Senate record by raising $17,000 from ex-boyfriends, uh, which is not an expanding base. So what I would do is, number one, pass a constitutional amendment to get that outside money and overturn Citizens United to get it out of our system. Number two, 13 of my bills that I have led are in HR 1. And that includes stopping the purging, uh, the independent commission so we don't have gerrymandering, doing something about election security, and really the thing I want to get done right now, the Honest Ads Act, so that the big social media companies have to follow the rules uh, when it comes to political ads. I cannot tell you, I guess I will end with this story because for me it just says it all. In the last presidential election, uh, there was an image of an African-American woman, an innocent. She since called the Senate and said, you know, that's my face. Someone just stole it. And they put it on an image, and they put it on African-American Facebook pages in swing districts. It was a fake Hillary logo. We, this came out in testimony and judiciary, and it said this. Why go wait in line to vote for Hillary Clinton? Instead, you can text your vote to 86153. To me, that is a crime. But it shows in one image what we are talking about here, the discriminatory nature of this kind of illegal activity. It shows these outside interests that are trying to any, do anything to defeat us. So the number one issue for all of us should be protecting our democracy. That's it.